Harry recently announced he would be penning and releasing an autobiography in late 2022, with proceeds of the book going to charity. The 36-year-old made the announcement on his Archwell website, which he and his wife Meghan Markle post updates of their endeavors on. Writing on the website, Harry said the book would be an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life so far, adding that he planned to write the book not as the prince I was born, but as the man I have become. It has led commentators the world over to speculate what sort of recollections could be included within the memoir's pages, and who should be worried about their inclusion. It's unclear exactly who will be mentioned, but a number of friends of Harry are reportedly concerned some of their antics will get mentioned, despite them never publicly speaking out about them. According to a Daily Mail, a source said earlier this year, there is a fear that HES going to reveal details of his hedonistic youth which some worry will play havoc with their careers and personal lives. Harry's mates have remained loyal to him, so far. If Harry slams any of his old school and military buddies in his new book they have pledged to break ranks to tell their story. Among those friends tipped to potentially speak out is Harry's former partner Cressida Bonus, who the Duke of Sussex was with for two years from 2012. The actress was reportedly shocked to hear of the upcoming memoir, with the Daily Mail Society columnist quoting a friend as claiming perhaps Shell be tempted to write about the relationship now. The source added, she could give a different perspective on the relationship. Writing for News.o.com, royal commentator Daniela Elsa said that it was unlikely Cressida would make such a move, particularly given her relative silence on the couple's time together. However, she argued, it raised a number of questions about the loyalty of those in his inner circle, and whether they were ready to keep up their record of not telling tales. Ms. Elsa wrote, while the chances of this coming to pass are slim, given Cressida has been nothing but impressively discreet about her Harry romance, the very fact that this question is even being publicly pondered for the first time is noteworthy. Just in case the possibility of his former friends becoming loose-lipped isnt enough of a worry, Harry's tell-all could also potentially see royal aides given the green light to hit back and to publicly talk about experiences working with Harry and Meghan. Cressida has previously spoken about her life since dating Harry, which has seen her now become a prominent stage star. Last year, she told Australia's Daily Telegraph that she had once been fearful of being branded an it girl for the rest of her life. Cressida said, The fear of failing, the fear of rejection, the fear of not getting it right, the fear of not being perfect. I think that has limited me in certain situations in my life. The publication said it hinted at what could have been, had she married into the royal family. Katie Nichol, author of the 2017 biography Harry, Life, Loss and Love, also spoke of how Cressida was left totally spooked after watching Harry's sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, carry out royal duties. She added, Cressida had been completely spooked while watching TV coverage of William, Kate and George touring New Zealand and Australia that spring. A friend told the author, she, Cressida, was sitting at home watching Kate on the royal tour of Australia, and it was a wake-up call. There was no way she wanted that sort of attention and she told Harry so.